Vaccine Namaskar Mudra and visualizing rising sun in their minds. Surya Namaskar or 12 steps. In this Surya Namaskar, we have the combination of asanas. Pada Hastasana, Ashwachalanasana, Parvatasana, and Bujangasana. It tones up the body. Before practicing other asana, this Surya Namaskar works like warming up the body. It modulates intra cellular and metabolic energy, strengthening the muscles, increasing the flexibility in joints. We can do Surya Namaskar three times slowly. We can increase number at least six times. It depends on one's personality while doing Surya Namaskar we should not strain our body so this is the Surya Namaskar apna right side bend karna hai aur apna head uska opposite side yani ki left side bend karna hai ab isi tarah se अपने नीज और अपने नेक को नॉर्मल पोजीशन में लाके नेक्स्ट साइड बेंड करना है अब अपना हैंड्स नॉर्मल पोजीशन को और लेग्स नॉर्मल पोजीशन को आके सेवाशन में लेते रहना है अभी हमारा दो आसन होने के बाद डीप इनहेल और एक्सेल लेते हुए योग योग मुद्रा में आना है जिसमें हम लोग अभी ओंकार करने वाले हैं इसी तरह से आपको ओंकार करना है तो यही है हमारे आसन और वार्म अप अभी अपने हैंड्स को रब करके आइस के ऊपर टच करने धन्यवाद सभी को मेरा ये योगासन का वीडियो देखने के लिए गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स हाँ मिसेस शारदा मिसेस एल डी शारदा टी जी टी सोशल स्टडीज ऑफ केंद्रीय विद्यालय बोलारम Dear students, today I am not here to ask you about your studies, about your classwork, about your homework or assignments, but here I am inquiring about your physical fitness and mental health. Dear students, as a part of the Fit India Movement, which is a nationwide campaign, and it was launched by our Honorable Prime Minister on 29th of August 2019. After launching this program, the Kendri Vidyalaya Sangatan has inculcated this in their everyday activities. Why have they done this? In order to engage their staff and student in physical activities, so that they remain physically fit and mentally strong. Dear students, since COVID-19, it has been nine months since we have seen or met each other in person. Today, I would like to share a few tips on how to keep yourself mentally strong. Remember, children, the key to mental health is having a sound mind in a healthy body. It is a state of complete. I mean, health is a state of complete harmony between mind, body, and spirit. So, dear children, uh, the COVID nineteen pandemic has evoked 
a lot of stress and anxiety among us our mind is wallowing in fear and worry but dear children let me tell you do not worry we will overcome this i am sure uh, you might be fed up with your parents asking you not to go out and your teachers telling you to study stay home and stay secure and at the end of the day you are vexed up with this ifs and buts but dear students have patience engage yourself in those activities which will keep you mentally fit today i would like to share some of these tips in order to see or in order to say that re-strengthening of your mind or having a positive mind during this pandemic i would like to give you some tips children now number one what should you do how should you spend your time now first of all what you do is every morning when you wake up wake up with a sense of gratitude be thankful to the almighty for everything you have in your surroundings opposing to what opposing to something that you do not have so be be grateful be thankful get up with a positive mind and then your day will pass off peacefully and secondly what you should do yeah, i know that p- pandemic this pandemic has caused a lot of inconvenience and anger among us how to overcome this anger the simple thing you can do is apart from your schedule daily schedule study schedule you can spend the extra time with your loved ones more time with your family members by extending a helping hand you help them in their daily chores or their daily work this way they will be happy and positive uh, positivity will be spread in the family and will make you mentally strong that was the second point what about third be grateful that you have a loving and a caring family be grateful that you are getting fresh food be grateful that you are getting clean water you have electricity and above all internet access which is so important these days this will keep you uh, mentally strong having such positive thoughts and what is my fourth point the fourth point is please extend a helping hand or um, what should i say take care of your family members the elderly particularly in your family if they are not living with you if they are far off ring them up once in a while every day set up 15 to 20 minutes enquiring about their health do not just send textual messages do not just send emojis use words show love so this way they will be happy you will be happy and in turn your mind will be positive children let me tell you do not feel dejected or depressed remember when you were coming to school you did not have time for all these activities so treat this quarantine time as an opportunity not as a burden not as a hurdle spend time with your loved ones i am sure by indulging in all these activities uh, i am sure you you will go on the path of re-strengthening your mind this positive having a positive mind during this uh, pandemic period post pandemic so finally children let me tell you indulge in those activities extend a helping hand serve others and make this world a better place to live in and remember fit hai to hit hai हेल्थ का हमेशा रखना ध्यान नहीं तो कभी तुम महान नहीं बनोगे इसको मैं फिर से दोहराना चाहती हूँ हेल्थ का रखो हमेशा ध्यान तभी बनोगे तुम महान इसके साथ मैं विदा लेना चाहती हूँ धन्यवाद थैंक यू गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबडी आई एम तो शार ऑफ क्लास नाइन थे ऑफ के वी बोला रहा टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्पीक अबाउट स्पेंडिंग क्वालिटी टाइम विद फैमिली एंड फ्रेंड्स ड्यूरिंग द पैंडमिक Amidst of the coronavirus pandemic the prime minister of india has addressed the nation on the effective measures taken by the government to fight deadly covid-19 the pm had made an intense appeal to all the people of the country to stay at home and avoid traveling to contain the spread of the infectious disease the current situation may be a strange and difficult time for some people but there are some unexpected benefits including the opportunity to spend more time with family and friends 
we never imagined that we would have to be stuck inside for so long however this time has always given us the opportunity to revive the relationship we lost with our family with the fast paced lives we were living we hardly sat together as a family the lockdown has given us the chance to go back to the days when family time was the most important time of the day here are a few ways in which the lockdown has benefited families and friends sitting together to eat as a family was one of the most important thing that we stopped doing however with the lockdown and all family members at home the tradition of eating together is back which led us talking to our families much more with the house helpers not there to help everyone at home is doing chores from sweeping to washing clothes which makes them a perfect way to bond as well given the lockdown you are unable to order food from outside which means we are having home cooked meals more often exactly what our grandparents always wanted this means we are also eating healthy and are also on time with the amount of time in our hands as the lockdown continues our first thought was to be able to complete all the pending movies however we realized OTTs can be boring after some time. Then we started finding new ways to spend the lockdown. That's when we started playing board games which were never played due to lack of time. They have made a grand re-entrance into our lives this lockdown. Be it physically playing the game with our families or virtually with our friends, we are enjoying it at the most. For everyone thinking quarantine period would bring a lot of relaxation well you were wrong with indian parents in the house the minute they say you relaxing an hour long lecture on fitness will come your way from asking you to get up early in the morning to asking you to practice home workout your parents will try their level best to make you move a muscle the more time you spend with your family you end up understanding them better you might still be arguing with your family however the lockdown has given you more time to accept them and the things they believe in family unites have become closer than ever during the tough time thank you good morning everyone present here respected teachers principal ma'am and all the my friends i am ohit of class 9th ek indra vidyalaya bolaram stand before you to speak about yoga and meditation to overcome the covid 19 introduction yoga is an ancient art that connects the mind and body it is an exercise that we perform by balancing the elements of our bodies in addition it helps us to meditate and relax Now meditation also comes into the picture it is nothing but a practice where individual uses a technique such as mindfulness or focusing the mind on a particular object thought or activity to train attention awareness achieve a mentally clear emotionally calm and a stable state yoga practitioners are often preoccupied with their bodies with the physical and fi- physical and fitness aspect sometimes when they get home and they uh, after their yoga class they can easily feel uptight and irritated again losing their inner balance for balancing their mind meditation helps get to the core to the open heart and develop a more stable mind yoga was originally designed to support the practice of meditation since it makes sitting practice more relaxed and balanced it is said purify and cleans the body calm the nervous system and balance the hormones yoga and meditation combo the when yoga and meditation practice together it strengthens the connection between mind and body thereby improving overall fitness and well being many forms of yoga throughout the yoga poses benefit du- benefits during the covid-19 pandemic the novel corona virus disease covid-19 has been among the greatest challenges of humanity has faced in the recent history as the pandemic continues to kill thousands each passing day and the country is slowly trying to get back to the new normal the emphasis of the physical and mental health is more today than 
मेंटल हेल्थ इज मोर टूडे देन एवरी बिफोर एंड योगा एंड योगा एंड मेडिटेशन कॉम्बो द एंशियंट फिजिकल मेंटल एंड स्पिरिचुअल प्रैक्टिस दैट ऑरिजिनेटेड इन इंडिया हैज बीन गेन्ड अ रेन्यू डेपियल एज बींग अ प्रोवेन टूल फॉर द वेल बींग सर्टेन मेडिटेशन certain meditation yoga asana postures and pranayama breathing exercises practices may possibly effective adjunctive means for treating uh, treating and or, or prevention of covid 19 and uh, as the physical activities has been limited drastically over the past few months due to lockdown yoga boost the immune system of the body means includes pranayama in your daily life pranayama yoga or breathing exercises strengthens our respiratory system it is more relevant in the current times as it is a respiratory system of the body that is most adversely affected by the covid-19 the most common benefits with yoga and meditation combo refers to the stress management improved flexibility provide emotional boost improved diet and enhanced health conclusion in this present covid-19 scenario as countries gradually recover from one from one uh, of the most restrictive lockdowns ever the uncertainty around the world is having a severe psychological bearing of the masses the unpredictable changes in healthcare daily life economy personal relationships have caused global anxiety and distress all over all of which are overcome only with yoga and meditation regular practice of yoga and meditation lead to emotional emotional strength and mindfulness thank you honorable principal ma'am esteemed colleagues and my dear students good morning and welcome to this symposium on the real strengthening of the mind post covid pandemic mental fitness activities for students staff and parents this protracted lockdown necessitated by the outbreak of the covid-19 pandemic earlier this year resulted in a situation which was never witnessed earlier in living memory this long period of isolation may create a sense of loneliness insecurity aimlessness and in some cases perhaps even a mild depression of course sooner or later this lockdown will be lifted and normalcy will be restored therefore it's absolutely necessary for all of us to develop a positive frame of mind to be able to get back to business keeping this in view in this symposium we'd like to suggest some activities which can prove useful in maintaining mental fitness i hope you'll find these activities interesting as well as beneficial good morning to all respected principal ma'am esteemed staff members and my brothers and sisters under the program restrengthening the mind post pandemic mental fitness is activities for students teachers and parents i am here to speak about on how to cultivate positive mindset We all have witnessed an unprecedented situation due to the long lockdown imposed on account of COVID-19 pandemic. Students are still mostly confined to their homes and have to attend classes, take examinations online. The situation may have an adverse influence on the mental health of many people. It may cause a sense of loneliness, aimlessness or in worst cases, it may also lead to depression. One effective way to counter this pernicious influence and stay mentally healthy is cultivating by a strong positive mindset. something which we experience for the first time we often get nervous and anxious now imagine the first moment the very first time when you stepped inside a imax or a high class hotel or a high security prone area how much anxious you were ki koi ye na puch le oi kya kar raha hai yahan pe now compare the same with now you won't be that much hesitant in a similar fashion when we got exposed to the pandemic we were also scared we also have to be strengthened by our mind and by our thoughts so here are few tips which will help you tip number 1 accept the new normal cause life has to go on whether one likes it or not it's human tendency to overcome challenges as you all did in our past 
Tip number two, stay away from gadgets as much as you can, but not totally as it has become a necessary evil today cause most of us electronic devices today. But as we must choose wisely as it has both the sides at most of the time. It's the main source of negativity that you can acquire from. Cause the moment when you unlock your phone, new new articles get popped in and avoid watching news all the time which will hook up your time and instead spend time on yourself. Yes, it's the third point. Tip number three, invest on yourself. You can minimize the usage of your phone and you can go for a walk to a nearby park and connect with nature, the trees there, chirping of birds and life around it. You can play some musical instruments of your choice or by taking care of your pet or with planting which will make you responsible. Tip number four, sing with people around you. These days we all are getting far from each other as technology grows. One can have healthy conversations, knowing them better each or by sharing any past events. Tip number five. Just show a random act of kindness. It could be done by smiling at daily essential workers or by encouraging them, by feeding stray dogs, acquiring about people around you like your milkman, delivery agent, or it may be even the security guard at your office. Learn to forgive small lapses of others. Give up anger and jealousy. Love all, kind to be all. Give up cunning and patience. Be simple and plain. Try to be less selfish. Share with others what you have and avoid desiring anything that is not yours. Try to spread happiness with your kindness and helpfulness and simplicity wherever you go. It's a delightful experience to make others smile with your joy. All this thoughtfulness will make your day. These were some tips which would help you to cultivate positive mindset. At last, I want to thank my school, Prisal Ma'am for giving me such wonderful opportunity and my mentor, Sri Kansar, PG English. So until then, stay positive. Peaceful mind leads to a healthy and happy life. Good morning to one and all. Respected Principal Ma'am, Teachers and all my dear friends. I am G. Naga Anishka of Class 11B. I am taking part in this program to share my views about activities for mental fitness following the long lockdown due to COVID-19 pandemic. Because of this COVID-19 pandemic, we were not allowed to go out of the houses. As a result, because of the procreated lockdown, most of the people went into the isolation. Most of us were experiencing a sense of loneliness, hopelessness and some people even slip into the depression. Because of this, most of the people were facing some mental problems. To escape that, we should engage ourselves in some activities like gardening, doing meditation, doing yoga, listening to music etc etc. With these wonderful activities, I would like to advocate spirituality to maintain a good mental health and well-being. To attain peace of mind, we should practice some verses from the scriptures. For example, in Bhagavad Gita, Lord Sri Krishna said that Dukkheshwanar Vignamanaha Sukheshu Vigata Aspruhaha Vita Raga Bhaya Krodaha Sthita Dheer Muni Ruchyade A man who is not crushed by the sorrow, who is not overwhelmed by the pleasures who is free from anxieties and fear of anger is known, as a, is known as a pragmatist. Like this, people of various religions can read their religious scriptures as per their religious rules. Some of you may ask that why do we need to learn scriptures? Let me tell you. By reading the scriptures, our memory power will be increased and our pronunciation will become perfect. So, finally, I would like to suggest that we should spend around 10 to 15 minutes in the morning to do prayers and to learn a verse from the scriptures. I am sure it can give us a great mental well-being. Thank you. Just because no one else can heal you or do your inner work, you will not do it alone. You may not be able to talk to people around you, but you can surely find peace in little things around you. A very warm morning to all the respected viewers. My name is Rimjam Jha and I am a student of class 11th A. Today, I am going to speak a few lines on reading for pleasure and inspiration. Books are considered a man's best friend. They give us uh, exceptional joy and also give us inspiration to achieve our goals. Books like Robinson Crusoe, Treasure Island and Sherlock Holmes give us so much joy and enthusiasm to do various things in our lives. We get so much involved in such books that we think that these books are our life 
and we relate everything what's happening around us to these books. We consider ourselves as the, our favorite character and imagine everything very clearly. It is so exciting and interesting. There are different kinds of books. There are also very motivational and inspiring books available in the market, like The Alchemist, The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari, and also Who Will Cry When I Will Die is a, are very interesting books and they give us so much motivation and inspiration to uh, achieve our goals in future. Also, there are many people who love poetry. They love poems and their deep meanings. In poems, the, uh, the poems are written in very few words, but they have a very deep meaning. Uh, poems like uh, Columbus and The Psalm of Life are very interesting and have a very deep meaning. Uh, there are many literatures and poems in Hindi also, which are very nice and have beautiful meaning with them. So personally, I would like to conclude that books are an asset to our lives. Uh, they are unique and they are portable and they, are, they can also be our best friends at times when we are alone. In this pandemic time, we all are um, facing depression in some or other way. Students uh, and also people who are working have some pressure on them on how to do various things sitting at home. But there is no thing to worry. You can do all of them easily. So you, you should just relax and give yourself some time. Uh, give some time for your self-growth. You can read many types of books. We are in, today in the market, we have so many types of books which are not which were not available earlier. So I would also say that after this pandemic uh, ends and everything is normal, everyone should take an initiative and read at least one book in three months. So this can also uh, increase our vocabulary and as we all know that it acts as our best friend and we will not feel alone when we are reading a book. So thank you everyone. Kindness means to be good with every single living being around us. Kindness is not a thing which we can buy but it is a quality which very few people have. Kindness is a quality of being polite and generous to others. In today's world, all Kalyug, the most important thing a person should have is kindness. Good morning to one and all and a huge pranam to all my teachers out there. This is Swagatika Raul of class 8 and today I am going to talk about some act of kindness. But first let us know what is kindness. Kindness is a type of behavior marked in acts of generosity, consideration and concern for others without having any expectation of praise or reward. Kindness in words creates confidence. Kindness in thinking creates profoundness and kindness in giving creates warmth. So let us know why in today's world, kindness is a much necessary thing. Um, when we do an act of kindness, like doing a charitable run or writing a letter to a good friend instead of texting, we feel better and more positive. But the most important thing that kindness does to us is it reduces 80% of stress. At last, I just wanted to convey that no matter how rich we become, no matter how talented or great we are, our actions and our kindness towards a person ultimately tells all. Thank you. Music is to the mind as air is to the body by Plato's and Athenian philosopher. Good morning everyone, I am Snigtha of class 9th D and today I am going to speak a few words on how music can re-strengthen our mind during post-pandemic. It exerts a powerful influence on human beings. It can boost memory, build task endurance, lighten your mood, re reduce anxiety and depression, stave off fatigue, improve your response to pain and help you work out more effectively has shown that listening to music can reduce anxiety, blood pressure and pain 
as well as improve sleep quality, mood, mental alertness and memory. Music triggers the release of dopamine in our brains. Dopamine is a neurotransmitter that promotes feelings of happiness and excitement. Studies have found that people may be better at solving problems when they are in a good mood or positive mood compared to when they are in a negative or neutral mood. That is relaxing also helps students with stress and anxiety, thus leading them to study more effectively and efficiently. There are many benefits of music therapy for various mental health conditions including depression, trauma and schizophrenia to name a few. Music acts as a medium for processing emotions, trauma and grief. But music can also be utilized as a regulating or calming agent for anxiety. In the end, I would like to say that music can have both negative and positive effects and it depends on how you use it. Thank you. Good evening ma'am. My name is Rashmita. I am from class 6. Today I am going to explain about physical fitness, their benefits and how to develop fitness. First, I am going to tell about the benefits. It improves our immunity system and it protects, from, uh, protects us from virus or bacteria. How to develop physical fitness? To develop physical fitness, we need to do exercise in the early morning for minimum 30 minutes and we have to eat nutritious food and avoid junk food. We have to do Surya Namaskaras and Pranayamas. These are the some examples of some exercises. If we are fit, we can make our country fit. Hum fit to India fit. Jai. Good morning. Today, I am Shweta of class 7A is going to tell the importance of spending quality time with the friends and family to maintain peace of mind and good health. People who spend time with the family and friends find healthier ways to cope with stress and they may have lengthened their life. People use their family and friends as a stress buffer, talk, talking about their problem and relieve themselves. One study published in Annals of Behavioral Medicine found the people who discuss different types in their lives have been lower pulse and blood pressure when they had a friend by their side. Having good relation with a martial partners, adults, children and siblings and friends contribute to positive health issues. There is only one thing more precious than our time and that's who we spend it on. Time spent with a family is worth every second. Thank you. My name is Tagur. I am studying in class 6. I am here to speak about the importance of music and its impact on our body, mind and soul. Music is universal. It has no barriers of language, country, caste, creed and religion. Any human being in the universe can enjoy music in any place, anywhere, anytime. Music is such a powerful medium through which pain, joy, happiness, peace can be expressed. Music becomes irresistible for music lovers. Young and old dance to the music. It also plays an important role in building our body and keeps us fit. Some types of music are western, classical and folk music. All of them are unique in their own ways. In conclusion, I would like to say that music is a very powerful tool to heal our body, mind and soul. Thank you. This is Danjal Shri of class 73 and here to give a small speech on the topic role of reading in helping to maintain a positive mindset. So after starting starting my speech I have to you have to answer me a question. 
Traditionally, it's the time of year for spring cleaning. But what if it's not just your home that could do with a refresh the season? Yes, the spring months can also be the perfect opportunity to take stock of what's going on in your head, clear the clear out any negative thought patterns, and make some space for optimism. And with the ongoing coronavirus crisis and its impact on your day-to-day lives, there's never been a better time to shift your focus. The power of positive thinking has been well documented. Uh, documented. Uh, and uh, a lecture in physiological infusion at the uh, University of Central Lancashire says, being hopeful and optimist for the future has been associated with better health and well-being. It helps to increase physiological uh, religions and re- reading with hardship and it has also been suggested that increased optimism boosts, uh, boosts our Im- immune system. For many of us, it can feel difficult to suddenly become the internal optimist though. But building a more positive mindset can be done, so where do you start? Understand the impact of negativity. Firstly, it's important to acknowledge the detrimental effects of negativity on the brain. Now, I'm going to give you some powerful tips to stay positive in in those periods. So the first is limit your intake and understand your strength. Lotter is the best medicine. Extend a hand to those who need you. Support your favorite local business. Utilize the time you have found. Practice random acts of kindness. Take a daily inventory. Thank you.